In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use the Waves Super Tap plugin to add some interest or perceptual movement to the lead synth sound on electronic track. Let me go ahead and play the groove so you have a better idea about how it sounds. <laughs> My instrumentation is pretty straightforward. I've got three tracks, drums, the lead synth, and the bass synth. And I have the Super Tap plugin inserted here on the lead synth. What I'll go ahead and do is uh, play you back the track again and bypass the plugin and activate it again so you have a better idea about what the plugin is actually doing. <laughs> Next, let me solo the synth track so you can focus on it even better. Next, let me get into the controls of the actual plugin so you can see how it works. There are two versions of the SuperTap plugin. One is two taps and the other one is called six taps. As the name would suggest, the difference between these two plugins is the number of delay taps that can be included. So with these different taps, it's essentially each of these are acting as their own delay line. In this plugin, you have control over the direct sound here, including turning it on and off, the gain control, and then where it's panned left to right. Then for each of your taps, again, it's the same thing. You have on and off over here, the gain control, and then you can pan it left to right. I'll go ahead and demonstrate these controls with the plugin. So here I'm turning off the direct sound. Turn it down. Turn it up. Move it from left to right. You can do the same thing with the delays. Put them both on the right. And all these controls can be easily automated from within the Waves plugin into your uh, host sequencer. Those are the basic controls over turning the, plug the delays on and off. Next, you can control the delay time. Here I have it synced to my um, DAW, and you can just turn that on and off by doing this right here, the auto control. You also can tap in the tempo, if you so choose, using the manual control, or you can set the BPM yourself. Over here is a modulation control if you would like to add that kind of modulation effects just to the, the delay taps. You have your gain control um, for the overall control of the plugin. Next, I want to get into the EQ section because I'm using it here specifically for the sound. So let me focus on just the delay sounds. And I'm using low pass filters at uh, 1K um, in order to filter off some of the higher frequencies so that my delay my delayed versions of my sound are different from the direct track. And I think that just adds a little bit extra interest to the sound. So here, I bet the, I'm basically bypassing the low pass filter, bring it down to about 1K. You can hear how that sounds different than the direct sound. So that is just a simple way to add a little bit of extra interest and movement to the synth sound on an electric track. Mm -hmm.